And resolution bitrate options, that would be transcoding. That's something I say, that the better rookie experience for streaming is YouTube from a technology perspective. So that way, people, if you're streaming in 1080, 60, people with crappier connections can tune in at a smaller, at, at a lower level and watch the stream at lower quality. Whereas on Twitch, the resources are a lot more limited. I've seen people gain transcoding as a Twitch affiliate and then get it taken away because there wasn't enough resources. The only people who are guaranteed transcoding on Twitch are partners. So a smaller version of one of the problems with Facebook, Facebook gaming, and this is something I have to look at from Megan Yeah, actually, who responded to my inquiry as to why she's not streaming on Facebook among all the other platforms that she multi-streams on. Facebook gaming is a bit elitist with the way they handle their technology. You have to be in their partner program in order to benefit from it. Matter of fact, why don't we just look at that? Let's look at that right now. We haven't looked at it in a while, so I'm giving Facebook the benefit of the doubt that they might have learned something and maybe backed off on some of this, but I doubt it. Facebook Gaming, take things to the next level of program. Facebook Gaming Creators, it's a big blue website. All right, let's see if anything's changed. Designed to give emerging creators information and tools to help jumpstart their live streaming communities on Facebook and potentially earn money for their work. If you've been streaming games on Facebook already, you may be eligible to apply for our Creator Level Up program. Gain access to Facebook stars. I'm guessing that's the bit system over there. Fan subscriptions once you meet the criteria. What is that? <laughs> Customized support on Facebook. High quality treat premium transcoding. Access to 1080p and 60 FPS. This is the number one problem with Facebook gaming right here. It is not worth it to stream on Facebook if you're not in this program and you don't have access to this stuff. All right, what's this? Yeah, well, there's compliance with monetization standards and other stuff as well, so. Anyways, limited access to beta projects and features, invites community group with other members, here's how to apply, community standards, monetization policies. I'm now in level up, how do I get, there we go. Let's see this. These are bitrate requirements and stuff. So that's one of the things I've heard. How do I get reinstated after losing access? Once you re-meet all eligibility criteria, the option to rejoin the program will appear. So here's the problem. People talk about the elitism of Twitch. They need to take a closer look at Facebook Gaming's Level Up program because you want to talk elitism. Facebook Gaming has way more, tons more elitism than anything Twitch has ever done. Whether or not it's worth it to stream on Facebook is directly tied to whether or not you're in this program. What I've been reading so far is that you're locked at 72030 until you get into their partner program, which is this. Then you get 108060. So not having 1080 or 60, not even 72060, as far as I'm concerned, is a problem. Now, if we go back to the Streamlabs quarterly, and I've got the graphic floating around out there, buried on Twitter. I should probably repost it again. Facebook has persistently had some of the best advertise, or some of the best ratios of hours watched, hours streamed. But I think that's artificially propped up by this. And we're kind of getting a little out of order here, but I responded to Megan Yeah on Twitter, talking about why doesn't she stream on Facebook? She's a multi-streamer who isn't even a Twitch affiliate and can't be a Twitch affiliate because it would she couldn't, you know, she wouldn't be compliant with the monopoly, so to speak, the content exclusivity part of the contract, which is a legal agreement when you become a Twitch affiliate. So multi-streaming is out if you do that. And so I noticed that when Mixer shut down, I went and watched one of her streams and she wasn't streaming on Facebook. And I was like, why aren't you doing that? I figured I'd get one of two responses. Either she didn't like the system side like me or she, wouldn't, she didn't like the interpersonal side, which is more of a concern because Facebook has had privacy issues before. Plus the real name requirement and stuff might actually be a deterrent to building a big community on Facebook when people's real names, where they live, etc., is part of something that's essentially a competitor to Twitch and YouTube. So, Imagine if you had to use your real name on YouTube and anybody who moused over you could see where you lived or something like that or go to your page or something. 
major, major concern for people that want to actually value their privacy. So she responded and she said that she was, you know, concerned about the real names thing. But here's an example. I might just send this uh, this clip off to her later on. But here's here's exactly one of the problems from the systemic side. If transcoding in 1080p is walled behind their level up program, there's no point in streaming on Facebook if you're not in this program. Furthermore, all Facebook has to do is kick you out of the program and it's not worth it to stream on Facebook anymore. So if people don't want to be stuck at 72030 because they can't get this partner program thing that they have with the creator level up program, or if they don't want to risk being kicked out of the program and therefore losing access to these features, which as mentioned before, you need to meet all the criteria and the community standards and monetization policies to stay in the program, like we just men mentioned down here. How do you get reinstated if after losing ac after losing access? Once you re-meet the eligibility criteria, the option to rejoin the program will appear. There you go. So it's not worth it to stream if you're not in this program because other, even Twitch gives you better options. You can do 108060 on Twitch as a bump on a log. You just won't have transcoding. You can do 108060 with transcoding on YouTube. This, as far as I'm concerned, is an artificial restriction. And it's one that deters more people from streaming on Facebook and therefore inflates their ratios. That's the primary reason why I'm not taking this, the ratio seriously for Facebook gaming, no matter how much it grows. I think YouTube is the main competitor to keep an eye on because they're not pulling these dumb little stunts like this. Transcoding is a mature thing on, on YouTube. You can be a bump on a log streamer with nobody watching and have transcoding available. And I've seen it on multiple platforms, even my own, even multiple accounts, even my own. We've gone around and we've looked at people streaming ESO to nobody in the middle of the night, full transcoding, all the way down to 360 and 240p. So to have something that's a standard feature on YouTube and a semi-standard feature on Twitch locked behind the partner program, why would anybody stream on Facebook unless they're coming over from Mixer and they took the sweetheart deal to skip steps in the ladder and go straight to Facebook Gaming Partner or whatever this is. So, as long as this continues to exist, I think Facebook's growth is gonna be limited, even without taking into account the privacy concerns of being a real name network. So there's my response to Megan, yeah. <laughs> If she was wondering what I meant by the system side of it, this is a great example of this because it's not worth it to stream on Facebook if you're not in their program. Then we have to wonder if maybe they get a little cocky later on and they put in a exclusivity thing similar to Twitch. So, but Twitch, right now, Twitch stands alone. I haven't seen the stuffiness anywhere else. But there you go. Still not worth it all this time later to stream on Facebook if you're not in this program because you get better starting experiences on either of the other two platforms, particularly YouTube.